this is Mike Spenz. I'm an applications engineer at Go Engineer. And this quick tip video explains how to make some custom searching and custom reporting out of Enterprise PDM. Oftentimes, if you need to report on some information out of Enterprise, your standard search forms may not get you the results you need. Um, I'm going to use the administration tool to start out by making a custom search column. These basically define what columns show up in the search results. So I'm going to go ahead and right click on the columns and make a new column set. I'm going to call this special. One important step is to make sure that your type is set to search results. Now there are no default search results so you have to put in new columns for everything you want to see. For example I want to see the name of the file and I want to see where it's found in. That'll help me know the folder that the file is in. And then add any extra columns for uh, variables that you'd like to see. For example, in this case, I'd like to report on all files that are missing a revision value. So I'm going to use this report mixed with uh, some functionality in Excel. If you need anything else uh, checked out by or anything like that, go ahead and add any new columns for those properties. It really doesn't matter what order the columns are in. That's your preference. Okay, once I have that column set, I've named it special, I can go in and create a special card for this search as well. So under my search cards, I'm going to open up the complete search card. And this is in most standard vaults. If it's not, you can import this complete search card. But I'm going to go ahead and open it up and save out an extra copy of this search form and call it my special revision search. Okay. Make sure that you have the right permissions for the right users. And I'm going to only use this for admin in this case since it's a special search. But go ahead and turn on any users or groups who need to use that uh, search form. And then change the search column set, and this is the important part, to the new column set that you've created. In this case, I'm going to call it special. Well, that's the name I gave it. Save that. And now I can go ahead and jump to my vault and run this search. So I'm going to go ahead and pull up the search tool so I can get to the export functions rather than just going straight to one of the searches. Okay, so here's my special search revision search tool. And what I want to do is find all files in the vault that have um, that well, I'm, I'm going to find all files in the vault. This is a smaller vault. I'm going to turn off display of folders and make sure that display of files is on. You could certainly filter on drawings or something like that by putting in uh, an extension that you're wanting to filter through. I'm just going to grab everything and run the search. Now in my search results, I can see that some of my files have revisions and some of them do not. So how do I filter this down to say everything that doesn't have a revision? So one of the easiest ways to determine all files that don't have a revision value is simply use the results in Excel and use Excel filtering. So I'm going to go ahead and press the button to open the search results. And now in Excel, I'm going to use the data sorting tools. So from the data tab in Excel, I'm going to turn on the filter, and it's as easy as going to the revision column, clicking on the drop down. I'm going to turn off select all and just turn on the blanks. So now I have a report of all the files in my vault that don't have any revision. Now, if I wanted to get uh, a little more complete. I'm going to even do a little bit of Excel concatenating. I'm going to make a column here for the full path. I'm going to set that equal to the found in folder and concatenate in a backslash and add the name. And so now I have the full path of where that file is found. A quick double click on that. Uh, fill down selection on the cell gives me now a full path for all files in the vault that don't have a revision. 
Again, this has been Mike Spenz, and this is about custom searching in Enterprise PDM. Thanks.